Good evening. I'm glad to be able to share a devotional on enduring. It's one of the upward virtues this past football season. I'd like to share with you this Bible verse, James 1, 12. Blessed is the person who keeps on going, even though things are rough. If he comes through it, he will receive a crown of eternal life in heaven that the Lord has promised to those who love him. This is a verse that shows us that sometime in our life we will feel things or come up with difficulties that are hard for us to be able to do. But if we love Jesus, he will be there for us to help us through these hard times. The Bible teaches us, even though there will be troubles, sadness, difficulties, Jesus is there with us and promised he will take care of us and make us joyful when this experience passes by and he promised to us who love him the crown of eternal life in heaven. That's a great joy to my heart. I'm sure it is to you to know that you don't face these battles alone. I'd like to share another verse. First Peter 1, 6 says, truly be glad there is a wonderful time ahead even though the going is tough for a while. Again, we know that we can count on the Lord if we are his friend to be with us, to love us, to give us the joy and able enable us to get through this very difficult time. Second Thessalonians three five says pray that the Lord will cause you to feel God's love and remember Jesus' patient endurance through dying on the cross and for our sins that we could be with him forever. That is a great promise of God. And not only do we have that promise, but we know we will receive that joy as he has recorded in his holy word, the Bible. First, second, Timothy 2, 10 said, be willing to endure anything who will bring salvation and eternal glory in Christ Jesus. God. Those 
who God has chosen. So, we realize we have a great destiny before us. If we surrender our hearts to Jesus, the only way to do that is to tell him we're sorry for the bad things that we do. And we say we want him to come into our life and help us to live for him so we can feel his love in every way. I know many of us are going to experience times that are hard, times that are difficult, times that are going to be depressed and sad, unable to think we'll ever be able to overcome those things that are before us. But if Jesus is in your heart, he will make a way and show you how much he loves you and what he has promised you for your future. I've had a change of life in the last year and a half. I never realized that I would experience what I'm experiencing now. But by the grace of God and his tremendous love and giving me all that I need to reach some of the goals that I wanted to reach, but never realized that God would let me do that. And coming out of the hospital, coming home to be with my family and the great nurses that we have, and then getting to go to church and for my trip with my brothers and sisters in the Lord. My heart is so happy. I'm so glad. And I can honestly say this is the happiest time of my whole life because Donnie and I have a wonderful relationship with Senator Dinka because he loves us both. And he provides every, every, every day. So, I leave with you this thought. Truly become friends with Jesus if you haven't. You don't know what you're missing. We'll change your life. And we'll secure for you a place in heaven when we pass from this earth. All the glory be given to God and our wonderful Savior, the blessed Lord Jesus Christ, who died in our place so we can have our sins, our sins forgiven, and we will be with Him forever and ever and ever. I'd like to close the brief prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for tonight. Thank you, Lord, for Showing us that difficult times will come our way. But there is a way of escape. There is a time that Lord, you will bring us out of these difficulties. Bring us to your love. That we would feel it in our lives each day. We pray now, Lord, that you will receive all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise for it belongs to you alone. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me, giving me a life I could never imagine. But I thank you for it. Bless the hearts of each one here today. That they would desire to know Jesus in a personal way. We pray these things. In Jesus' name, with thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen.